Last year, more than 2,000 volunteers put their faith into action through Medical Teams International. We helped more than 2.7 million people in 70 countries, people confronted with disaster, conflict, and poverty. Here in the U.S., more than 17,000 children and adults who had nowhere else to turn received dental care through the Mobile Dental Program. More than 97% of donated resources received go to help people in need. Medical Teams International is rated as one of the most efficient organizations in the country. A team of volunteers and donors traveled to Uganda this summer. For Pat Reeser, this was her second trip there. On her first visit to the Nakavali Refugee Settlement in southwestern Uganda, she visited a small maternity clinic where five mothers had given birth the night before. We walked into the ward and there were two beds there. So I asked the midwife, I said, well, I understand you had five babies born on Friday. There are only two beds here. Where did the third one stay? So, oh, we made a bed on the floor. I tossed and turned for two nights, wondering, you know, God, you brought me here. What is it you really want me to see? Felix Amodi and David Alula head up the in-country team for Medical Teams International. I asked to speak with Felix and David and ask them what would it take to make this maternity ward serve you so that as you get three, four, five women coming in, you could deal with them. Pat was told that there were already plans in the works for a bigger building. And he said it would be a building that would be big enough that you could put 12 beds in it. And I said, well, what about birthing rooms and examination room and, and a pharmacy. He said that wouldn't be included. So I asked him to pencil out what it would take to do that. Wednesday morning, I woke up with clarity of thought and I knew what I was going to do. The amount that Pat had in mind for a donation was precisely that which it would take to build the more comprehensive maternity clinic. Pat's faithful action made an impact. At the new women's clinic, she met a couple from the DR Congo who touched her heart. They'd been living in the settlement for two months after escaping to Uganda while under rebel fire. Two of their children were killed and everything they owned was left behind. Two other children survived and a fifth was born that day. Pat left knowing that the new clinic would be a blessing for people like them for many years to come. You hear of people having these kinds of experiences and you wonder, will that ever happen to me? You know, and if it does, will I recognize it and act on it? Dr. Tom Martin is a veteran Medical Teams International volunteer who has traveled overseas on many occasions to give medical care to people. He and his colleagues recently traveled to northern Uganda where they cared for children who were suffering from a mysterious illness called nodding syndrome. Something happened in the refugee camps that has caused them to develop what is essentially uh, a seizure disorder. But it's a very unusual seizure disorder uh, and it's triggered by the sight or the taste or the smell of food. Most of them end up with injuries related to seizures, some of them severe burns because of the uh, proximity to cooking fires uh, if they have a seizure, uh, drowning in, in uh, streams and, and lakes. And medical teams is, has stepped up and in uh, northern Uganda been providing medication treatment for this. And the medicines are similar to medicines that we use for uh, seizures in, in the United States. The Ugandan staff that they have been working with through the years um, are incredible. This is a self-sustaining uh, group with regard to, to doing their work. Uh, MTI supports them and, and provides the medication, but it's the Ugandan staff day in and day out that go out and provide care for, um, for those patients in those areas. In Uganda and every place we serve, lives are changed and lives are saved because our volunteers, staff, and supporters take action. Thank you for acting tonight and for your continuing generous support.